YouTube family. As you can see, I have my partial out this morning. Um, so, I'm up. It's about almost 6 o'clock Sunday morning. And I think I left you off. The last time I spoke to you all, I was um, going out running errands. And I mentioned that I had several places I needed to stop. One being my um, daughter's house. However, I did not make it over there yesterday. I got caught up here at my sister's place um, where I typically stay when I come down. Uh, cooking per usual all day long because I have um, um, a niece and a nephew that requested a uh, red rice chocolate cake, uh, banana pudding. And so um, I ended up, um, I did go to Walmart. I didn't take Gail in there because I was literally a, a, a quick run in and a quick run out. And so um, I went there, picked up a few things, came back, and the plan was to just literally make those three dishes that I just named. Um, however, I ended up making stuffed chicken wraps. Um, oh, I finished up the um, the pot of chicken noodle soup, y'all. I did that. That chicken noodle soup was so amazing, so amazing. And I made enough, it'll probably be the last, it could last at least um, two, like three days even, you know. Um, I did the red rice, <clears throat> and um, truth be told, that was actually my first time ever, 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 ever making red rice in my life. And um, I'm kind of proud of myself because um, I grew up, you know, although I'm from the South, I grew up... Um, I grew up not really being in the kitchen with my mom. I mean, I was, my mother was like, mm, an amazing cook. Food was really good. But I never really um, uh, hung out in the kitchen with her while she was cooking. However, my older sister has. So I'm basically self-taught. I did go to culinary school, but I only did like a couple of semesters. But anyway, I just... um. You know, I just learned to uh, season until the gods, you know, say no. And the key is a lot of spices, not salt. Because you have garlic salt, you have garlic powder. You can have onion um, salt. Is it onion salt? Onion or onion powder. The difference is, is one is powder, the other one has sodium in it. And um, so I use like a lot of, you know, spices, paprika, like the small pap paprika, Turmeric is really good. It's healthy for you. And so as I started um, venturing out with different seasonings, it took my cooking game to a whole nother level. Say chicken, for example. Like I grew up, the only way I really knew of cooking chicken was frying it, maybe making chicken dumpling, chicken soup, or maybe baked chicken. Nowadays, it's like I, I know how to saute it. Um, I can still bake it, but I bake it so many different ways you know so it's really about the seasoning yeah so with that being said i'm going to um go over to my daughter's house and you know all the things that i mentioned yesterday meet with my grandson um uh talk a little bit about my uh my daughter's wedding is coming up i believe be on the lookout for that i'll, I'll be recording that um and uh oh you know going over there to teach my my um, granddaughter um how to because uh, she loves the um the the chicken stuff with spinach and feta and then i coat it with breadcrumbs so i'm going to have her in the kitchen we're going to be in the kitchen together cooking that and actually i'll probably record a um a cooking video that's a good idea cooking with my granddaughter and we'll do a cooking video on that so i'll upload that and then i'll vlog some of it as well but yeah, so um, happy daylight savings time. Um, so um, yeah, I just had tried to eat a little breakfast. So family, I don't know. This is um, some leftover sausage. Um, I made scrambled eggs with bell peppers, tomatoes. I had uh, I didn't put bacon on here, but I made bacon and I made asparagus. And so I just ate a. I had a little portion, and this is all I was able to eat. For some reason, when I come down to VA, it's like I just don't have an appetite to eat. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm not sad to be. I'm very happy, but I don't know, maybe because I cook all the time. I think that's maybe what it is because I cook, I spend at least five to six hours in the kitchen cooking, 
And for your cooks out there, you know how it is. By the time you finish tasting, when the food is done, it's like you don't want to eat it. I know I don't. I anyway. And so um, yeah. So I made myself um, cause this is like day. I've been here. When did I come down? Wednesday. I want to say Wednesday I arrived. And I ate Wednesday only because I was on the train and I brought my food. But since Thursday, I have, that's three straight days. This will be day four. Um, but three days that I, I, when I promise you I have not had a full meal, I'll have like um, breakfast, but not even what you consider a sit-down breakfast. I would pick on something, you know, eat something, and then the, for the rest of the day, nothing to eat. And what's weird is that I haven't even been like hungry, hungry like that, you know. But I'm okay, there's nothing going on. This is just something that I combat, you know, with all the time when I come down. And that probably if I fall back on the cooking so much and just, just learn how to relax and then I'll be able to eat, you know, maybe that'll help. But this morning I was like, no, get your butt up. Because I already, I lost weight. My pants are like a little roomy on me now just for those three days, you know. But then I look at it this way, you know, it's, it's I'm fasting too, but it's not the healthiest way to fast. And so anyway, I got my coffee per usual. You know, I have my water, alkaline water. And then I have my little, um, you know, plate of food. So, yeah. But I figured I would uh, head out to, uh, I'm going to get to my daughter's house. Um, try to get there about 11 because she told me I could come early as I want. But um, I may even get there like 10 o'clock, you know. But yes, yeah, so I definitely I'll take you on the journey. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hope your family's doing well. Um, and I'm so happy it's um we have the daylight savings time because now it'll stay um I think it'll stay light till about what, seven PM, something like that. And that's you know, that's really cool. I like that. But um yeah, I um I think that's pretty much um, you know, what I have going on. And, um, I guess I'll, you know, looking all scrappy. But you know what, y'all, I was gonna, um, before I turned the camera, I was like, oh, you know, let me freshen up. I mean, I did brush my teeth. I haven't washed my face yet. Um, and again, I have not put my partial in. And so, um, because I don't like to eat. Um, if I'm in a house, I just don't even bother eating with my partial in. If I'm out, you know, it's something different. Um, but... Yeah, I just usually pull it out. And I just want to just be all the way real with y'all. And not trying to be camera ready all the time. And making sure I'm looking prim and proper. I'm at home. I just woke up about an hour ago. And this is me. This is just real. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. Um, oh, then my nephew, um, last night he um, came by. Actually, the one that um, wanted me to make uh, the banana pudding for him. And so he came, you know, yesterday evening and uh, we hung out for a minute, you know, before he left. But um, I love my, I love my family. Let me get off here and go take my shower before um, the line uh, starts forming for the, um, you know, the bathroom now. We have, uh, there are two and a half bathrooms in it, but the one full, the two full bathrooms um, downstairs, I have my, my niece and I think her friend stayed over and they're literally right next door to the bathroom. I'm upstairs in what I call the um, the chef's chamber, um, so there's no bathroom up here, so I have to go downstairs and use the shower and stuff, which is, you know, totally fine. Get my little steps in, you know, my workout. So I'm going to go down and, uh, you know, get ready to take my shower, and then I want to add some more hair to the uh, front of my wig, because when I put it on yesterday, I noticed it was, like, still thin in certain areas, so I have my wig here and I have my hair. I gotta go back up there and get my um tool. Get my excuse me y'all the um crochet needle to um you know put the hair in but um you know I'm not gonna um you know show me doing it. I've seen that already in the last clip. But yeah so happy Sunday morning go excuse me and um yeah I will um I'll check back in Ooh, excuse me. I'll check back in with you later. Oh, and I always wanted, I wanted to say this too. Um, if uh, anybody's out there been, you know, contemplating starting a, a YouTube channel, 
go for it just go for it please i urge you to go for it um it's a lot of fun at first i was intimidated and i felt a little weird talking to a camera and then um now the one thing i won't do i'll tell you this um i would not go back and watch my own videos once i edit it even if it's a struggle getting through the editing it's something about hearing my own voice or looking at the myself on youtube is just like oh, i don't want to hear my old voice you know it's just weird um but um yeah if you want to start a youtube channel just you know go for it you know it's like you know it's so much fun and start off with your um using your camera um and they have um you know editing you know software some free editing software out here too until you you know you want to upgrade and you know go for something like final cut pro which is only compatible with a Mac, you know, um, a Mac computer. So just know that. But, um, you know, like I said, I had mentioned in one of my videos, I don't even know if I uploaded it, but, um, early on, it was like, I sat for about, I contemplated starting a channel for about two years before I actually did it. And the first one, my first upload was down here in Virginia. And that was me introducing myself and what my channel will be about and uh uploaded that video i did like a nice trial haul down in my sister's house um it was actually in a room downstairs that my niece is uh, um occupying and so um it was it's cool it was real cool and i'm, I'm going to link that video as a trial haul as an african trial haul and so i'm going to link that video to this one and uh yeah yeah take a look at that but um and then also on the cooking channel my first video was my corner channel video which is up to like 50,000 views now, so make sure you check that out. But I did all that um, starting with a phone. Use my cell phone on, and I'll never forget because I kept saying, and at the time I was still working on my old job, and I was like, well, I wanna start a uh, you know, YouTube channel, and um, but I just never got around to it. And so one day I had just literally uh, finished, I wasn't even planning on recording. I just seasoned my corner chin. I was doing a deep fried corner chin for the first time. And I was just ready to cook. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of doing this hen the same way, which is baking it. I said, well, you know what? Let me do something different. Let me fry it. I didn't know if there was other videos out there or not. I never researched it. I just went for it. And then I said, oh, you know what? Let me just record it. So I took my phone, set it up, started talking to it, recorded the video uploaded it was like a little over six minutes long and to date that video has over 50,000 views and uh and from there that was it i just started recording and i was doing strictly um the strictly cooking videos and then the um the uh the, the um excuse me the vlogging channel the main channel um came about you know as i said um because I wanted to do, I, um, I, I wanted to do something, vers I wanted to be versatile, but I didn't want to mix that with my cooking channel. I wanted to keep that a se separate entity. And so I said, you know what, let me um, start vlogging. But then I was just like, you know what, who's gonna relate to me? What am I gonna vlog about? You know, so I said, you know what, there's somebody, there's an audience for everybody. And so I started, you know, um, you know, vlogging on that channel. And that channel is um, just, um, you know, uh, the main channel, Just Enjoying Me, which is, you know, basically me doing me, enjoying life, you know, just having a good time, just doing me. And so I, um, I created that channel. However, I haven't been exactly consistent um, over there because, um, you know, I was just struggling with figuring out what to do and then... You know, like I said, the cooking channel was monopolizing a lot of my time. And uh, and then life, you know, was just life in. And so I said, you know what, let me, um, you know, just start uploading on that again. And, um, you know, YouTube is a, YouTube, let me tell you something, YouTube, I really have to say I credit YouTube to a lot of positive changes in my life. Um, because, um, I struggled with, uh, depression, um, anxiety, especially social anxiety. And, um, 
before I used to be a TV buff, but when I think back to things that I was watching, like you start your morning off and, uh, you know, you turn on the news, I would turn the TV on to get the weather, um, and then I leave the TV on, and I was like a new, I used to watch New York One, and then I switched over to Fox 5. I would go back between both of them, but you figure you start your morning off, and turn, as soon as you turn it on, you hear about something, some negative, horrible stuff that happened in the world, and then I would watch like Lifetime TV, you know, you know, Lifetime has all depressing movies in my opinion, um, just, and then you go outside, and you're having conversations about negative stuff in the world and then I go to work and then at work I was doing I was in public health and so in public health you're taking on people's problems all day long and it's no wonder I was depressed you know so I was like you know what I got I have to change something because this is just not working so I stopped watching TV and I would hear all the time about YouTube 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 but I'm like what is this YouTube so finally I went on it one day and you know, not knowing, looking for anything in specific, I just clicked on YouTube. And so all these different types of videos popped up. And then I was noticing a lot of DIY channels, you know, how to glitter stuff, how to make tutus, how to make t-shirts. I mean, you just name it. You know, how to decorate your house, how to declutter. Um, you know, and then people are just out you know vlogging themselves out living their life so I was like you know what that's what I said I want to do this and um I um you know again I learned how to make tutus t-shirts now granted I don't have patience to do those things but my point is it opened up a whole new world you know for me and I learned so much um from YouTube University and yeah, it gave me a purpose, and, um, uh, you know, thank you, YouTube. I really want to say thank you, because you really changed my life and quite possibly, you know, helped to save it, you know. You know, along with the creator, first and foremost, of course, but, yeah. So, I say to you, you know, if you're, you know, struggling out there and trying to figure out, you know, what direction to go in, what to do with your life, you want to start a YouTube channel, just do it. Just do it. It's fun. Now, granted, you, you do have to have a a backbone, but you will grow one, too, after doing this because, you know, of course, you know, you got the, well, you got the people that love and support you. You got the haters. And the larger your channels, the bigger your grow, your, um, your views and subscribers grow, your, the trolls, you know, are going to be out there trolling, you know, so, um, yeah, so once you get through that part of it, other than that, it's like, it's, it's fun. You can make money. You have um, opportunities to link up with sponsors, you know, and uh, just find your niche. Find what you enjoy doing, like cooking. What did I tell you? Since I've been down there, I've been in the kitchen literally, I keep saying literally. Um, I've been in the kitchen every day for like upwards to six hours, six anywhere from five to eight hours you know a day and that's because i love cooking i love my family i love feeding people i love to see people eat well so i really cook from my heart so for me to do the cooking um channel that's like easy breezy you know um but like i said the vlogging and on this channel you know sometimes it's a little struggle but i'm i'm getting comfortable with it yeah so I done rambled on, you know, for a good 20 minutes. Wow, this is going to be a long, um, a long uh, vlog. Um, so I don't even know. I may even, I'm not sure if I'm going to end this vlog here. And then, um, or maybe I'll end it once I get to my daughter's house. But then that's going to be a separate video. I'm just going to end it showing you me showing, pulling up my, my daughter's house. But then it's going, I'm going to make it two videos. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, instead of trying to chop everything up because this will be a long editing process. Oh, and that's another thing. The the recording is not the challenging part. It's the editing. It's a lot of lot of work. And um, so right now, this is three days worth of um, footage that I have on here, and it's about because this right here, me talking to you now, is like literally twenty one minutes and. The other two I did is probably about, it's over an hour worth of content and it's going to take me about a good three hours 
to uh, you know to edit it editing yeah it's it's a lot um but um yeah but i'm having so much fun with it so partially uh katrina yay the missing tooth but hey i don't care i don't care i'm happy i'm happy so anyway guys i love you all so much for your support and um, taking time out of your day to watch my content because whether it be five minutes long, whether it be 25 minutes long, that's your time that you could have been doing something else, spending it with your family, doing your own video. And the fact that you stopped and, um, you know, gave me your time, I appreciate it. And I hope, you know, I hope I made it work. Okay. So yeah, let me, um, let me get out of here, get off this camera and get ready and I'll talk to you later. Okay. See y'all soon. Hey y'all I know the lighting is bad behind me I'm currently in the garage I have the uh, car heating up and I'm on my way To my daughter's house I just wanted to uh, pop in I was trying to um, Set you guys up on Right here You see this little Doohickey It's for a phone But I have my um, I'm using my vlogging camera and so it's hard for me to hook it up here because I wanted to at least show your, um, you know, the scenery while I'm driving. So I may have to, no, I can't even record that part of my cell phone because I'm using my cell phone as my GPS to get to my daughter's house because this is her, um, she just moved in this house. So I don't know the directions and it's like 30 minutes away where I'm normally, where she used to live, it would take me like 10, 15 minutes to get there. And so therefore I'm not going to be able to record with the phone. But um, anyway, I at least wanted to just pop in. And if I'm talking weird, again, it's because I have my um, my partial in and my tongue, you know, is, is this foreign object, you know, is like my tongue has to get used to it. But um, yeah, so at least I made it out of the house finally. Um, but yeah, so I'll, um, I'll check back in with y'all, you know, once I arrive there, okay? So I'll see you soon. See you in like 30 minutes. Now, if I get something from UPS, you see my grandma? The UPS huh? you see my grandma? You see my baby? Spoiled, so. Say hi to the gems. Tico, say hi to the gems. Can I say hi to the gems? Hmm? No? Good morning, fam. Turn out this way. Hey, it's a little after five in the morning, so I'm up. Um, about to go for a walk with my granddaughter and possibly my sister. Um, my daughter, my granddaughter, she runs track and. Um, we're going to manifest this. She's going to end up in the Olympics with manifesting that. And so anyway, um, part of her regimen, she gets up and um, it's time I'm on to go for a walk. Kudos to her. I'm so proud of her. Proud of you, Jayla, for staying uh, true to the game and committed. And so um, I overheard her waking my daughter up. I didn't know she was going on a walk this morning. She just came in a room where I was sleeping with my daughter, in my daughter's bedroom. And, uh, you know, to wake up and see if she was going for a walk. So when I overheard her, you know, I just say, hey, you know, I can use the workout as well. So um, so it's either going to just be me and my granddaughter or, like I said, I'm not sure if my daughter's joining us. And um, I pro I'll probably take care of along. It's a little dark out. I mean, little. it's dark, still dark out. And I don't have my ring light, so I don't even know how much you're going to, um, you know, be able to see. But, um, yeah. So I'll check back in with y'all shortly or later. So all this over here? Yes. So this whole area? Uh-huh. Okay. Out back there? Yes. That's what the ceremony is for. All this out there for the door. Okay, so the garage is going to be up. Okay. So, and, and what is this area going to be used for right here? Is that going to be? That's not. Cake? Cake? 
Okay. Okay. All right. See, this is. Hmm? Yeah, the shuffleboard can't come out. I was just saying, it keeps going around. Oh, okay. Wow. Huh? Yeah, that's the, um, that's the shuffleboard that can't come out. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. What's this zap for insects or something? What is this? Probably it is. like a mosquito repellent. Okay. So you, you have access to all this? Yes, this right here is a separate place. This is where Shauna got married. I was like, I know this place oh, looks wow. familiar. Oh, okay. You told your niece got married? Your cousin got married? Uh-uh, because I didn't know until the other day. Yeah, my niece got married here, too. The place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I remember you guys telling me. Oh, I did tell you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Now, yeah, she really, okay, this so, looks super familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the ceremony is going to be in the machine. All right. So I'll be coming out the door. So right here. I'll be walking through Okay guys, so what I'm showing you, I'm actually, this is a venue where my daughter's going to be having a wedding, so I'm just here, just taking a look around just to get a feel. The place is really okay. absolutely beautiful, excluding that part here, but this <laughs> section, I have YouTube channel, so that's why. So, uh, place is absolutely beautiful. I'll make sure I link the information uh, for you brides-to-be if you're still looking for a venue for your wedding I'll have the information listed in my description box and uh, also uh, my niece did get married at this place as well so and they did her very happy no she got married at that place that's a different place yeah on that side yeah that's what I mean oh. yeah yeah and so right here is 60 okay so you're coming out the way this door the door uh, and they're coming in Right here. Okay. All right. And then the, the water's gonna be on the fountain and stuff down here. Okay. So we'll stand. Right here. So all this is coming out. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. So this is gonna have water in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Now, in the event of a rain day, everything moves inside. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Pretty. Right there, I didn't want that part because that part I would have had to go to the other side, but I didn't really like this side. Okay, and now they're going to be utilizing this bar no. area right here? No, no, okay, no. okay, because there's one on the inside. We'll go through this door, somewhere. yeah, okay, because we're doing an indoor reception, so okay, yeah. gotcha, okay, that's perfect, yeah, you know, we enjoy that allergy, we enjoy yeah. sneezing. <laughs> Uh, you are you none of that? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So all this right all here. All this here. Okay. Okay. All right. And then what's we'll gonna be up here? Like the DJ mm -hmm. or so? That's what that's that's what you tell me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The DJ should go right here. With and the, I have the three sixty machine as well. What's that with the smoke? No, I got the You said we do the video. You know how people stand and go the camera go around the circles and then people yeah. Okay. The yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. And you said you are utilizing that out there? That I, outside? That, I, I this, have access to it, yeah. To this thing in the middle? Yes. Okay. All right. Because so. that door is going to be up. Oh, got you. Yeah. All right. So I have access to that. Okay. Yeah. And so what I was telling you with these chairs right here, we just get those. I don't know if they provided. Do you have to bring your own? No, they provide the chairs. Okay. No, I'm talking about the chair covers. No. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. So do they allow you to do that? To mm -hmm. bring in your own? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I'll ask her about the, uh, or you already said if it's nothing, an event going on the day before, then you, you can come in. Yeah. All right, so what we'll do is just uh, confirm. And if not, then you come in 8 o'clock in the morning Saturday. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. And then yeah. the rehearsal will be here too, of course. Okay. One to three days All right. before the wedding. Cool. All right. And then now the bar area, mm -hmm. you're going to be using that? Mm -hmm. That's okay. where the alcohol and the drinks and the food. And all that's included? Yes. Okay, cool. All yeah. right, yeah. And it's buffet style. All right, cool. So you said the cake is going to be over here. Mm -hmm. And then a cocktail hour, while we're taking pictures, it's going to be straight to the back. Okay, good morning. How you doing? Okay. I guess I got a video for the table. Huh? I have to give you the table. Okay. Back up. Hmm? Okay. So I have okay. choice of that side or this side. All right. All right, family. So I'm going to show you the other side. This place is really huge. Yes. So this is another part. And that middle is a whole dance floor. 
That whole middle is Yeah. Oh, okay. Where? Oh, right there? Okay. All right. Yeah. Family, this place is really huge. I mean, huge. It has so many parts to it. But I'm not going to stay too long because my baby girl's not feeling well. But on this side, you see they have a full bar. Okay, as I said, I'll link all this information in my uh, description box and just go on the website and uh, take a look at yourself. And the lady that I spoke with just now, her name is um, Rebecca. And yo, I'm not on camera because I look toe up on the floor. Up. But um, all right, guys, I will check back in with y'all later. So y'all, this is a place right here. It's called Atlas 42 in Richmond, Virginia. And like I said, I will link all the information for y'all below. All right, y'all, so I just came back from the venue. So um, I'm going in here to make some, make a banana pudding for this household. Oh, that's the pole and everything? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now go back up see I'm about down. To. I was just talking to you. Have... Y'all put in the comment section, tell my daughter to get, she's not feeling well. Tell her to get her butt up there in that bed and recuperate that she's supposed to, the way that she's I supposed had to, to make do. I sure you had enough stuff to be occupied. Enough stuff to be occupied? Yes. Girl, I got my work alone. I'm editing videos. Yeah, and the important stuff. Huh? The important stuff. Oh, this is the way? Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. I didn't want to say it on the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm not going to put that on it. But, okay. yeah. But I'm going to deal with this. I know. I know. But I'm just saying I want you to have it whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. Thank you. Because you like to sleep like a dumb, dumb, funny hours. You would do two o'clock in the morning for some reason. <laughs> I'm going in here now because to make the, um, you know, the family their own separate pan of uh, banana pudding. And then uh, I'll probably make some um, egg rolls, homemade egg rolls for the household. And... Then after that, I just have to, for the rest of the day, I got to edit some videos. I have to do some wedding planning. I'm going to sit down, and um, now that I saw the venue, um, I showed that in the uh, clip before this. And so I'm going to sit down and just put together some, based on her, um, her color scheme for her wedding, some tabling, um, you know, looks. And then just, you know, let her pick from that because we literally march april may june july august this is like five months five months but um we're gonna pull this off it's gonna be stress-free we're gonna have fun with it but yeah so that's what's going on girl I look crazy crazy you see my hair and all that but it's all gravy all good so all right i'll probably bring y'all in the kitchen with me so i can get started on this um banana pudding okay you want to say hi to the family? Huh? Chico. Yeah, Chico busy, too busy grooming himself. That's my little baby. I love this dog. This dog is, has my heart. Alrighty, G Squad. So here is our banana pudding fresh out of the oven. Nice and beautiful. My custard is a nice little golden brown the way I like it. He's a side view of it so now i'll just let this sit out for a little while uh, cool off and then we'll sit it in the refrigerator to get a nice little chill on before we serve it but yeah so that's it that's, that wraps up this video and depending on when i um well i'm not going to eat it you know the kids and stuff when they decide decide to um you know eat it i will uh turn the camera back on and show you what it you know looks like once they dip into it because um again right now it needs to you know cool and then chill but um yeah so if i don't in the event that i don't pop you know back in i want to thank you so much for tuning in to the channel and watching me um you know cook per usual you could have been doing anything with your time and you chose to spend it with me and it is greatly appreciated and i hope i did not dis disappoint and so uh, until then, I love you guys so much. I really appreciate you. You know that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.